We'll prime it in there. We'll prime it in that one. And I'm just waiting for it to dry it and I'm going to throw a load of stone chip in there in both of them. Primed, all rush treated, been sprayed it like all the way up in there. Look, just went for it and just sprayed loads. Just doing little bits and bobs while I'm um, waiting on some stuff, and I've got to order some stuff on payday. And a kind um, Jimmy C, thank you very much for your donation and sending me some cutting discs. Really appreciate it. And there is other people who have donated. I will check all of that and I'll put it at the end. Start putting it at the end of my videos who helped me. I just got to check who uh, who sent it and whatnot, and then I'll start putting it all at the end of the video on every video to show who helped me. And caught now. So that's what I've done so far. And there it is with all the stone chip in there. Rush treatment primer stone chip. Even in that one. I sprayed it all the way up there as far as I can. Even all there sorted. Right in them areas. So she's getting there. I'm really happy once that's dried in the next few days i'm going to weld that plate back weld the plate back in there obviously once i've got some bottom wire yeah. get in there this i can't wait for this side to be finished i'm not going to do that bit yet i'm going to do them afterwards when i get the outer seals i'll start repairing them before i put the outer seals on I want to make a start on the driver's side so yeah I'll be back with you in the uh, next clip hi everyone it is Tuesday today Tuesday the second all up there is done after stone chip uh, Primed it and stone chipped it. I've got the drain plugs in and sealed. I've uh, ripped on all that. Just got a bit of uh, cleaning up to do because I'm not that bothered about that to be honest. The seat belt mount's got to go here, which I will be doing once I've finished. I'm not in no rush to do that. I want to get the other driver's side done. So, I will get the brackets that go behind here and weld them in and then I'm going to put a little bracket over the top as well for extra support with a hole in for the seat belt to bolt to and I will do the same on this side which is around about here there so it'll be about here the seat belts will be going in when they're done um, working on the back um, grinding all this cleaning all this up putting some new welds in and i want to give a big thank you to jimmy c as he told me he was uh, sending me some cutting discs but i also received a roll of welding wire off him so i got 20 cutting discs and a, and a welding wire so thank you very much it got me moving it allowed me to carry on for a bit until I get paid. So up there it's done. Just waiting for the stone chip to dry. In the meantime, I'm working up the back. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on doing this today because I won't be able to do anything tomorrow because tomorrow's my birthday. Wednesday, the third of July. So I'm going to spend some time with my kids. 41 years old. I don't know. 
time flies. And it feels like yesterday that I turned 30. And then I blinked. <laughs> um, so I want to get as much knocked out today as possible. So I'm going to do my utmost best to get this video up today for you guys. Obviously, if you hear me say that, I must have uploaded it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get back to doing some more of this. And then I'll... Uh, back shortly show you how far I've got right that's it for today I've a little bit to do up there still a little bit I've welded all of this I've just got to grind it that'll be um, next time I come out to do it it's like quite late now I've been doing this pretty much all day. Started welding up all the below, the holes I had over there. There's no holes in that pillar no more. Just gotta grind that down. I've got a couple of little ones there to finish. Um, I've managed to fill in that blow through there. So I'll grind it down. I've got to put a plate in there. But all in there is treated and stone chipped, as you know. I've got to put the drain plug in there and seam seal it in. Grind all that down. Um, that'll be in the next video. So, in the next video, you will see me finishing up with that. Um, so, it's going to take me another day. Another day's work. 100% complete that. But in that video, you might see me complete that. When I say complete, I mean like to where I'm happy for now and then I'll go around it and adjust anything on adjust afterwards. But I want to get onto the driver's side. So I'm going to get that in stone chip so it's all more or less done. And then I'm going to start building the driver's side. So you will more than likely see the start of that in the next video. Um, which will probably be next week sometime that bit but so in the next video you will see me finish that and then start the driver's side and then when the driver's side is done and the car is completely solid I will then go around every little bit doing a few little touch-ups here and there because nothing's like ever going to be complete straight away you've got to have to, you've got to go around doing a few bits and bobs and so I'm the good thing about stone chip is, is you can spray it, you get your grinder, and you just grind the little bit off where you want to work. So if there's a spot weld that I'm not happy with, I'll just grind over that little bit, re-weld it, and then re-seal it. Because there is still quite a few dents in this floor that I want to dolly out, basically I want to get them out. Even though it doesn't really matter about dents in the floor, but... I want to get as many out as I can. If I don't get all of them, I don't get all of them. I'm not bothered. Some um, matting stuff's going down anyway. Some dead now. But just for my own peace of mind and perfection, I want to get as many out as I can. Um, I'm not, I'm short on these. There's not many I can cut out the old floor because the floor's rotten. So I've got, there's one there I might not bother putting one in this side, but I might if I've got one, if I can find one in any of the old flooring, I might put one on that side, but if not, they're not important. I'm not going for factory, and I don't plan on my car getting flooded neither. And I'm pretty certain that those are for the factory use. I'm pretty sure that when the shell's dipped, that's their drainage holes. I don't think it actually has anything to do with... Uh, plug holes for us to use. I think it was just something they used and then they had to plug it. I don't think it's for us to use personally. Because they dip the shell, don't they? And that would be to allow all the liquids to run through. So that, I don't think it's for us to use. I mean, they do make good drain holes if you ever got flooded. But 
what's the like likely chance of that ever happening? So I might not bother putting them in. If I can find some, I'll put them in. If not, I'm not bothered. Oh. So that's it, really. Um, next time you'll see me, I'll be 41 years old. <laughs> oh God. Um. Challenge is to try and finish this before I'm 42. It'll probably be way before that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. In the next video, you'll see me finish this up and start the driver's side. So you'll have that to look forward to. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.